you have two choices every now and then. Either you choose to trust God or choose your own way. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Sometimes you don't see the way, but by trusting Him, He will shed light in your way. He will direct your way every now and then. To those who are longing for something and yet it was long delayed and you are frustrated, you are dismayed, you're so depressed. My prayer for you is to discover that your completeness is in Christ. When Christ is your completeness, whatever is your journey, may mga kakilala ko na matagal nang humihinging magkaroon ng anak. And they're so down kasi wala silang anak. If you have a revelation that Christ is your completeness, hindi nakabase sa magiging merong anak o wala. The Bible says you are complete in Him. And your joy should come on your salvation, not on the things here. Yung mga iba, it's a long delay, you're waiting to have your own house. What is the point of having your own house here if you don't have a house in heaven? All these things will be left behind. When you know that you have nothing to lose here because you own nothing here, dun ka palang totoong malaya at mabubuhay ng malaya. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, Sino to? Ito yung mga nauna sa atin. I was surprised when Rahab was here. Rahab is a prostitute and she was commended for her faith. In fact, the Bible describes her as Rahab the prostitute. Did you believe that? God is not surprised with all the blunders in your life. How do you correct a wayward believer? Religious people will tell you you are wrong. Do right and you will be right. Do wrong and you will get wrong. Do bad and you will receive bad. That's religious mentality. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit testifies to this one because of the death of Christ. God remember your sins no more. The Bible declares that Jesus himself said that the Holy Spirit will not remind you of your sins. He will remind the sins of the non-believer, but not the believers. You are not a sinner saved by grace. You were a sinner saved by grace. There is a great chasm to that truth. Where, ibig sabihin, dati kang sinner. Today, you are holy and saints, not by the virtue of your performance, but because of that one final act at the cross. When He said, it is finished, He asked the final word. Then He gave you a right standing. Let us throw off everything that hinders. That includes if your job is putting you down. Alam na alam mo ng relasyon galing sa Diyos. Nagpapalapit sa Diyos sa iyo. Pag ang relasyon, hinahatak kang pababa. Pag ang kaibigan, hinahatak kang pababa. Hindi galing sa Diyos yan. Dahil hindi magbibigay ang Diyos ng kasirean sa iyo. When the Lord gives blessing, He adds no trouble to it. This 2024, hindi kailangan ng maraming kaibigan. I would rather have one friend that brings me closer, that inspires me, that ignites my passion to serve and love God than hundreds of friends. Who are so worldly minded today if you believe the death burial and resurrection of jesus you are a new man you are a new creation in christ and the scene that easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race mark out for us god knew the detour the setbacks the ups the down pag nadapa ka kasama mo ang diyos na madadapa hindi kanya iwan he said he will never leave you nor forsake you nagkamali ka kasama mo ang diyos hindi ka niya iiwan. God loves you. Even in the midst of your stupidity. Remind yourself of that. Kasi ang tao, ikokondem ka. Maging yung mga kasalanan na hindi mo kayang sabihin, maging sa best friend mo at nanay mo. Pero ang Diyos, kasama niyang tinatawad yun. Alam niyo kung anong pinakamalaking kasalanan? Hindi yung paggawa ng kasalanan eh. According to Jesus, ang pinakamalaking kasalanan ay yung pagiging self-righteous. Because the tendency is you despise Jesus. That's why when He rebuked, The Pharisee, sabi niya, go home and learn of this. I desire mercy, not all your sacrifices. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Our faith is not ours, it's the faith of Christ, who for the joy set before Him endured the cross. What is the joy set before Him? His joy is seeing you saved. Kaya nga yung isang koy na nakita niya, tinawag niya lahat na diwang. Yung isang tupa, iniwan niya yung 99, nagdiwang. Yung prodigal sa, nagdiwang. His joy are for the lost people being saved. He wants us to do the same. That whatever we are facing here, we can endure at the same time with joy all the suffering. Because we know 
God is for us all the time. 